Hello again. This micro lecture is going to be on vectors versus scalars. So remember, micro lectures are short. They're intended to be one to three minutes, but we piece several of them together. Also, please remember that you need three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and then you need to do the follow-up questions on the Google form. So in physics, there are two types of quantities. In other words, if we talk about numbers and things like that, they fall into one of two categories, vectors and scalars. And this is true in all of science as well as math. Vectors have magnitude and they have direction. What that means is, for example, you have a size or something like 22, um, the units, and that's part of the magnitude. And then you also have the direction, such as east. Uh, it could be 200 feet north, 10 meters west. You could also just draw the direction with an arrow like this and just state what the magnitude is, or sometimes they have the actual size of the arrow um, indicate the magnitude. And so that's what vectors are. Scalars, on the other hand, just have magnitude or size. What that means is those come out something more like one gallon, where it's just a number and the type of units, or two liters, or 75 kilograms, which doesn't have a direction, um, or even distances like this, uh, 26.1 miles, but there's no specific direction. Um, that's what scalars are. That's it for this micro lecture. Three bullet points uh, worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and the follow up question.